Good morning, good day, third, fourth, and fifth graders. Um, I haven't seen you in so long, and I miss you guys, and hearing about all your stories, and I miss hearing about your spring break and everything. So today we're gonna show you a video on how to make a spring bunny rabbit. So first of all, you're gonna have to gather some materials. So get set, and also just parents and kids, I know this is a really super hard time um, that everybody's going through, especially you parents. I'm sure that you're like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with all these kids now? <laughs> some of you probably have one, some probably have more. Um, we understand that and that supplies are limited. Uh, it's not like you could just run out to the store every five seconds. Um, so please just don't stress. Um, I'm just trying to reiterate to not stress about um, your supplies. Do the best that you can. Um, if it's just a pencil drawing and paper, that's fine. If it's everything that I have, great. Um, but in between anything, you know, between pencil and paper, it could be pen, watercolors, but try to do it the way I do it if you have the materials. If you don't have the materials, then I am very, very, very flexible on this. Um, so just do the best that you can and don't stress about materials, okay? Thanks a lot and um, we're gonna show you what supplies we need. Supplies, so um, you're gonna need white drawing paper or whatever you guys have at home is fine. Um, a background paper, also again, optional. I'm just gonna use mine to just kind of make it look nice. And then you want some water soluble markers. So you can either use like these guys or this or whatever you guys have. Some kids have fancy markers. Some kids just have Crayola and I have lots of all that stuff. So one thing I want you to, and a pencil, if you want to draw your bunny um, before you do, do the markers. Okay, and a paintbrush and some water. You could probably even get away with just using your finger and some water. So I'm gonna test this marker. It looks pretty good, that one. And I'm just gonna test how they look under when I get them wet. Ah, Mrs. Seagull, you're getting weak. It's, it's new, so. that's not gonna be good for this. So you take your brush or finger and test if it's going to smear. Okay, so the best ones actually are the Crayola water soluble markers. So you don't wanna use a permanent marker. You wanna just use the regular Crayola markers for this marker painting picture. Okay? Okay, so you're gonna get a drawing handout to show you the bunnies um, that you can draw. And that will be on the Google Classroom that you're obviously in right now. And um, some of you will have those personally in hand. You don't have to print them. You can just look at them on your computer screen like I am right now, okay? and just go ahead and draw those bunnies with your marker or with your pencil first. So, um, I drew my bunny first just to make sure it looked halfway decent. And now you're just gonna highlight that rabbit with your chosen color of marker. It's kind of albino there. Just outline all your marks that you have so that you don't really see it and get his long whiskers, his little mouth or hers, feet. No cutting off the little rabbit feet for good luck, although we sure could use it. Bunnies are furry, so we wanna kinda of have some texturized fur here. Very furry bunnies, you don't have to be perfect. 
this is a water soluble marker it's just Crayola not expensive most of you probably have them in your home if you don't just do the drawing you know make him look like he has some fur a little bit of texture here and there and his little fuzzy tail If you want to show some shadowy stuff, you just do a little bit more marks. So like some hatch, hatching, maybe a little along the bottom of his ear, the other side of the ear. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do a time-lapse video of me painting this little guy. So. Um, hopefully that works out. So you can just use water to go over your markers. Okay, so while this dries, we're going to make some little flowers. Not with our darker background, but with some whatever paper you have. So I have some cardstock here. I'm just going to use um, that side's dirty, so this side, and because I, I have all my materials out in the out in my car because I don't have any room. Um, so we're going to make some flowers, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. project will look like a cute little bunny with some flowers I used the um, metallic markers because I had really dark paper and I wanted you to be able to see it um, you can use whatever color paper you want or have on hand uh, you can use whatever crayons or markers you have to draw your flowers you can paint them color them with colored pencils markers crayons whatever you feel like and mostly that's pretty much it for your little bunny rabbit. Then you just need to upload it, take a picture, uh, upload it on your mom's phone or your phone, big sister's phone, whatever you guys have, and um, upload it to the Google Classroom. Um, please don't put it in the comments area because I might miss it. Uh, lots of kids make lots of comments all day long, so uh, the best place to put it is either email it to me at rsegal at fusd or, or um, upload it to your Google Classroom assignment. All right, thanks a lot and have a great day and enjoy your little bunny.